everybody, I'm Judy. I'm addicted to puzzles. And I just wanted to say happy National Puzzle Day. Um, recently, I did a new puzzle brand called Enjoy. I don't know if you've heard of them. I highly recommend them. The puzzle I did was called Slow Down. Um, just the cutest puzzle. It wasn't like, it wasn't super hard. The pink flowers on the walls might have been the hardest. Maybe the trees. It was just a really lovely puzzle that, um, you know, slow down in life. I'm going to hang this on my wall because I really enjoyed it that much. Uh, they have a lot of puzzles. I have quite a few. I bought these on Black Friday. They were 50% off. So I bought, um, I think, eight of them <laughs> because, I mean, their puzzles are really pretty and I've heard they're great quality, and now that I've done one, they're definitely, I highly recommend it. And if you can get them on Black Friday sale, that's even better, right? Um, so here's the puzzle. I'm actually going to pick it up so you can see it. If I, if I can pick it up. I know it'll stay together, definitely. Just not at a very good pickup angle. So there you go. That's the puzzle. It's so pretty. I'm going to hang it on my wall. I think I already said that. But... Yep. I'm going to hang it right here in my puzzle room. Uh, gorgeous puzzle. I highly recommend. So my shirt says puzzling since the 80s. I got this from a store called Puzzlers Bazaar. You can follow them on Instagram. They have so many options in t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, mugs, pillows, like all kinds of things. So what I wanted to do today is kind of take you through a little walk of some of the puzzles that I have. Um, my sister in Indiana, Cindy, she is a, um, she goes to thrift stores all the time. And she always finds me like incredible puzzles. So she found me some older puzzles. Um, so this is a Big Ben and the date on the back says 1962. And then there was a little box inside. And in this box were puzzle pieces. So, uh, She's been going back to the puzzle store to see if maybe there's more. I don't know what these pieces go to. So it's kind of interesting. Um, these puzzles are, they don't like super interlock together. Um, I'll do a video on these, you know, in the future. But this one's from 62. It's called Rural Beauty. And then this one is of the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's from the date on the back here. It says 1231-63. Um, I mean, that was way before I was born. Well, not way, you know, 10 years. Um, and these ones, I don't know what date they are, but this one sold for 29 cents. That's what it says on the back. And then there's this one. So these are puzzles from definitely before I was born in the 60s. So when I was, um, I don't know, 16, I guess I got a job at Wendy's, right? And that was a Hallmark store really close to our house. So I'd go in there and I would buy puzzles. And I started with Springbok because the Springbok Hallmark puzzles is what they had. So I had... Um, one called Pixel Perfect. It has balloons. I had the Crayola Freeway. I don't have that one anymore. I wish I did. Um, and some I've looked on eBay, but they're kind of pricey, and I'm like, I don't want to spend that much on it. So um, I had a, one with a lion that I still have. And okay, so here's an old spring box. My this isn't my original spring box, okay? My sister, my thrifty sister, 
She's very crafty. She goes to thrift stores all the time and makes crafts. She got me this puzzle. It's called See How They Run. Um, it's over 500 pieces, but it's all people running down the street. Uh, I will be doing this one soon. I don't have a date, but she bought it for me, so I have to do it. But I know this is probably... It's Hallmark Cards, Springbox, so I'm going to assume it's probably from the 80s, maybe the earlier 80s. I don't know the exact date. So, I think, I don't know what year it was, 80, 88 probably, I worked at Wendy's. Um, and I found this puzzle at the Hallmark store. So I've always been crazy for challenging puzzles, I guess, since I was pretty young. When I was, um, I don't know, I didn't have a lot of puzzles growing up, so I had a puzzle that had a, it wasn't very big, 100, 150 pieces maybe, but it had a water wheel and a little, um, a little barn, and it was so pretty. Uh, I used to put it together, and then I'd take it apart, put it together, take it apart, and then I'd turn it on the back, on the brown side and do the brown side and then I'd take it apart and do it on the other side and then I'd do it from the middle. I'd do it from the outside. I must have put that puzzle together 500 times. I don't, I don't even know. So when I got a job working at Wendy's and, and babysitting, I babysat a lot too, but I found this puzzle. So the world's most difficult jigsaw puzzle by Buffalo Games. So this was when Buffalo Games was um, really new. And if you've never seen these puzzles, basically, it's this image, this whole image. And then on the reverse side, it's this image rotated 90 degrees. So, okay, so this puzzle explains it a little bit. It has the picture and then the same picture rotated 90 degrees on the reverse side of the puzzle. And you can't tell the front or the back because the way they cut the puzzle, they cut it up from the bottom and they also cut it down from the top. So a typical puzzle, you can tell by the way it's cut, what the top is and what the bottom is. So like the Flipsy puzzle, I don't know if you've heard of Flipsy. Flipsy is a great brand. They have a puzzle, they have a, you know, the image on the front, which like we'll say it was a scary barn, right? But you can tell uh, what was the front and what was the back by the way uh, by the way it's cut. So when you flip the puzzle over, there's a super scary image. And if you haven't tried a flipsy puzzle, highly recommend that also. But these puzzles, um, we'll do the Disney one. My sister found this at a thrift shop also. Of course she did. Okay, so these puzzles, you can't tell because they're, one side is, looks like it might be the bottom, but they're exactly like, okay. So it's hard to explain. One part of the puzzle, it feels like it could be the top, right? On the same exact puzzle piece, it feels like it's the bottom because they cut it from, you know, they cut it from the bottom and then they cut it from the top. So the cut is exactly the same on both sides of the puzzle. So if you've never tried a double-sided puzzle, they're super fun. And I have, I don't know how many, I have, um, I don't know, I have, I have quite a few of these. I collected them. Most of them are not even done. So I think I have five that I've done. And then I have um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I have nine or 10 that I still need to do. So I think one week, I'm just gonna do all these in a week and have a double-sided puzzle week. How's that sound? Yeah. If that sounds like a good idea, let me know in the comments. Cause I think, I actually think that would be a lot of fun. So we know like in the eighties, there was just a lot of landscaping puzzles. And then we had these double-sided amazing puzzles come out. And Springbok has a huge amount of puzzles dating back from, I don't even know when they opened, but there's so many puzzles um, from Springbok. I have 
I bought a lot from um, a girl on Facebook called Sarah Does Puzzles. She has a lot of vintage puzzles. She has a lot of today puzzles. And she sells them all for a very reasonable price. So if you haven't heard of Sarah Does Puzzles, check her out on Facebook. Um, she has She sells puzzles all the time. I got a lot of older vintage spring box puzzles from her. Um, ones that I might have had when I was a kid that I got rid of or just ones that I had never seen before that I thought were great. So today's world, now with all the different puzzle dies, you can get puzzles that are, you know, impossible broken glass that's plastic. Um, I have a pin two puzzle that's, it, it's a whole plastic puzzle, P-I-N-T-O-O, -O. plastic puzzle, super amazing. The Tenyo puzzles, um, some of them are, you know, also plastic, like see-through plastic. They're so cool. You have 3D puzzles, you know, the original 3D puzzles. If you ever need help with a 3D puzzle, I have over 130 tutorials on my YouTube channel. So um, if you can't find the puzzle, comment on any video and I will do a tutorial. Or if it's if I haven't done it yet, I'll do a tutorial. If I have, I'll put a link. Um, so with today's different dyes and stuff, we have puzzles that are anatomy puzzles. So I have this entire set of puzzles. This is the head. Uh, there's the thorax, the abdomen that makes up the top half of a person. I've already actually done those sections, but they also have the arms and the legs, and that makes an 11 foot tall puzzle person. So I'm going to be doing all of these really soon. Um, here's the feet for the anatomy and I mean that's basically the puzzle is the feet and then uh the new series that they had has the heart the the brain I, yeah I think it's the brain and the eyeball and <laughs> they actually look kind of scary um but I'm gonna do all these puzzles um I don't know one week I'm just gonna have an anatomy week I guess and I'm gonna do the 11 foot tall super puzzle man a girl puzzle person it's gonna be incredible i'm gonna wait until it's a little warmer because i'm probably gonna lay the whole puzzle out in my garage and i don't want to go out there when it's 28 degrees so yeah because that'll it's really cool but these puzzles are so cool these are by these are dr livingston puzzles by at genius games if you ever you know i'll put a link to these in the in the comments super fun um, so, you know, you have a lot of print on demand companies now you can get puzzles made t-shirts made. Um, I love this shirt by the way, uh, with all the, like when I was puzzling, you know, a long time ago, a lot of the puzzles were just landscaping, you know, actual pictures. And then we started to be able to get puzzles that were, you know, actual art on computers. Now, if you have an idea, you can get your own puzzles put into a puzzle. So this is um, a puzzle through Society6. It's my I Love Puzzles puzzle. So back in um, 2016, I believe, I thought it would be super fun to make puzzles. And we did actually make puzzles. We had a machine. We would roll the, um, the chipboard through. We actually found the chipboard that Robinsberger uses, the blue chipboard. Um, and we were making puzzles and it was super fun. So this was one of my designs that I did. I love puzzles. And, um, we stopped doing it in 2021 because um, when COVID hit, you know, there was this huge puzzle craze, which was amazing. I didn't get to do a lot of puzzles that year because I was a medical coder. So um, we did go a little part time for, I think, three months. 
but then we were also homeschooling. I was homeschooling um, my son. He was in the end of fourth grade, starting in fifth grade. So most of fifth grade, he was homeschooling while I was working. And we were also making the puzzles. And uh, we just didn't, I don't want to say we didn't have time, but we were, you know, working from, I don't know, I, I started, I tried to start work by 6, 6.30. And then if a, orders came in or, you know, we did custom puzzles. So I would do, we, my husband and I would be working till like nine o'clock at night, getting orders out. That's how busy we were. And it was incredibly fun, but we realized that since we were so tiny, the type of board I wanted to use and the quality we, um, I expect in a puzzle, uh, it was just too costly. I didn't want to charge. I wasn't charging a whole lot for the puzzles, which means we were only making I don't know, maybe two bucks per puzzle for a lot of time we were putting in. So um, Society6 started putting um, puzzles out and I have all the designs, most of the designs that I did, including this one that says I love puzzles. And I have my Basset Hound Eeyore as a puzzle. Um, I'll put a link to my store because there's coffee mugs, an I love puzzles coffee mug and one with my logo. So we've gone from these little, you know, these weird little big Ben, weird puzzles from the 60s all the way to having human feet and human anatomy puzzles to being able to create our own puzzles. So puzzles have certainly come a long way, you know, from like the 1800s when it was actually just a piece of wood putting a map together. So that's your history lesson for today. I don't, you know, anyway. So tomorrow we have um, our battle of the YouTube puzzlers. At noon, my time here in the United States, we will be releasing all of our puzzles at the same time, all of our speed builds. This was the one that I did for um, you know, this is the one we did for the battle of the YouTube puzzlers. So at noon, my time, which is 6 AM in Australia on the 31st and then noon on the 30th here where I live in New Mexico, um, we're all going to release our videos at the same time. They're all going to be set. They're all set as a premiere. If you go to our channels right now, you'll see everybody's videos. You can get notified for when they go live. Follow us, follow along. Uh, let's see who wins my time. I'm not gonna say right now what my time is because if somebody else, if one of the other contenders see it, then it'll spoil everything. Uh, Cause we don't know, we don't know what the times were. So be sure to watch, we'll be live chatting with everybody since it's a premiere and um, since it is National Puzzle Day, do a puzzle, have fun, and uh, that's it for me today. So happy Puzzle Day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.